Jason and Ryan from Spoon CCW. Today we're going to talk about using the bathroom while you're carrying. <laughs> <laughs> Something that uh, a lot of people, especially new um, handgun carriers, it's not something that they think about. And then they get to that point and uh, they go into the bathroom and they unbutton their pants and, oh no, there's a gun hanging on my side. What do I do? So we figured we'd touch on it a little bit. Um, so let's get started, I guess. <laughs> Alright guys, if you like the content, hit that button. Hit the share button. That way your buddies can see it too. Really helps us out guys. It does. Helps us out a lot. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! So don't let that be you. A gun in the toilet in the public restroom is probably not the greatest thing in the world. Nah, I mean, I'm all for cleaning your guns, but that's not the right reason to have nah. to do it. No. <laughs> no. Depending upon what's in the toilet, you might not want to go after it. Yeah, that's the thing. You still should, but yeah. And you know, obviously, this is kind of taken from a guy's perspective. The ladies have their own problems. So, uh, ladies, if you want to. Tell us about your bathroom woes while carrying your handgun and, you know, comments down there. Uh, let us know if you got a funny story or something like that. Uh, we always appreciate the kind of stuff, but, uh, you know, in all seriousness, this is where quality of holster comes in, I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, something with the right amount of retention. Um, something that fits your pants right. Uh, something that fits your body type right. Um, you know, I'm a bigger guy, I have a hard time finding holsters sometimes. Everything seems to be a little loose or way too tight. Right. Um, well, the other thing is, uh, you know, practicing at home mm -hmm. before you, uh, you know, head out to the local Mickey D's or whatever and then decide that uh, you may or may not want to reach in that urinal after your pistol. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's always a consideration. I mean, when you're at home, you know, you know, when I first started carrying it, the, the thing that struck me was, uh, you know, as soon as you loose that belt, I mean, you got, kind of upon what you're carrying, you're doing two and, I don't know, this gun's like eight pounds or whatever, right? Your pants want to go to the floor, so if you're in a stall, right, in a guy's restroom, Especially in like a rest area or something like that. You got 57 people standing behind you looking at you and you're trying to figure out how you're going to go to the bathroom and hold your right. pants up at the same time. You're fumbling with the gun holding it on your side while you're trying to get your belt loose and the rest of the way. And yeah, it just, it's a nightmare. But um, that's, we touched on there before. I mean, having the right holster so that it sits between a belt loop for you. Because um, I know... <laughs> If it's if you don't have a belt loop in the center of the holster paddle, it'll just strip the belt clear out of your pants. Yeah, and it'll all hit the floor. And then, you know, there's the other issue of you know if you have to take your pants all the way off in in public, like if you're going to the changing room at mm -hmm. Walmart trying on some pants, something along those lines. Um, you don't want to have to take the gun off, set it on a shelf and everything else, risk the chance of forgetting the gun in there because you can find stories online of that happening. Uh, people actually unholstered and set it on the back of the toilet or whatever and walked away. And Yeah, that's, that's a bad idea. There's a firearms charge you don't want. But, um, well, I seen one I seen one, one time where a guy, he, uh, he had to go number two and... Uh, Rolls in there, throws his pants on, pants down, he unholsters the gun and stuffs it in the toilet paper holder. Yeah, yeah. And then it went through the toilet paper holder, it landed on the floor and put around across the bathroom. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but it could right. be a bad idea. Yeah, the uh, the blue lights are showing up for that one, for sure. Yeah. 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 But, um, you know, if you have a good holster or something like, you know, it's, it's big, I carry a lot bigger gun, you know, I've got a 
full-size PX4 with a nightstick on it. But to carry that gun comfortably and securely to my pants, it takes something like the Omnivore. Um, I love this holster. Uh, I used it before I had the light with the, the uh, non-light mounted version. <clears throat> but I can just leave everything right on my pants mm -hmm. when it comes off, you know. A lot of times, even if I'm coming home changing after work, I'll, I'll leave it on my pants till I'm ready to put it on the next pair. Yeah. So it's it's pretty secure. Yeah, so uh, I little pre-planning, guys. Yeah. Um, it's a mindset. It's a lifestyle change. So, and, you know, smaller guns are easier to deal with, but the challenges are still there. I mean, oh, yeah. um, I can't tell you how important... A comfortable holster and a, and good retention is I see, and and we saw a lot of them. Every everybody's budgetary concerns are different, um, but a lot of the the pocket and fabric holsters, if they're inverted, that gun's going to fall out. So anytime you're uh, looking for a holster, uh, take the gun with you, take it unloaded, insert it into the holster, and then turn it upside down and shake and uh, see if it'll come out because. Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, even some of the holsters we've got on the shelf out here will do that. Yeah. Um, we sell those versions. Uh, they have their purpose. I don't carry anything like that, personally. I just won't. Uh, a lot of people want them, so yeah. if that's what you like, we'll sell them. But, um, yeah, yeah, just pocket. make it in the fabrics. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. And, you know, there's a, there's, there's a, with the smaller guns, there's a whole other issue. I mean, people putting them in their pockets with, like, the, the pocket liner. Mm-hmm. You undo your belt and you do everything else, and the darn thing just switches around in your pocket. It'll be all backwards and upside down. It's got your pocket inverted and everything yeah. else. Then you got to fumble with it, and you know it gets dangerous. You got the risk of bumping your trigger when you're fumbling with it, mm -hmm. um, or not realizing that it's inverted in there. End up needing it, you can't get it out of your pocket. Certainly, it's just it's just something that a lot of people don't think about that you really should. It's it's kind of like we always talk in our classes about oh crap I got to go to the BMV and I've got my gun what do I do it's it's just as important when you got to use the restroom yeah because generally you got to use the restroom it's... more times than you got to go to the BMV <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah and you have less time to plan the trip too uh -huh. yeah so yeah nature calls right exactly uh, so you know think about it guys and you know if you. You got experience, you got a story, let us know in the comments. It's, uh, you know, this is a discussion type thing, so we love hearing from you guys. Uh, we like being able to, a lot of us, we're all linked into it all together, so we'll sit at the house and wait for comments to come in just so we can kind of BS with you guys. It's a lot of fun. Yep, it is a lot of fun. So, yeah. yeah. Guys, hope you liked it. Once again, like and share. SpoonCCW.com if you want to uh, sign up for a class.